I guess the biggest challenge as far as I'm concerned facing learning and development is probably unlearning old ways of doing things. Um, imagine a world where the technologies are different and the people we network with and the work itself is changing at such a rate. We, how we educate people, who we educate, the tools we use, the method we go about doing it, the time we do it at, whether we do it in company, whether we do it as individuals, as, as uh, small and medium sized enterprises, all of that's going to change dramatically in the next few years. So therefore, we need new techniques, new approaches to helping people to understand the information they need and how to interact with it. It's about the quality of the experience, of the engagement. It's more video, it's more interaction, it's more uh, uh, ability to stop and start at will. It's the ability to tailor how I learn to what I need to know. For me and the organisations that I see, the biggest change in um, people's is the need for more sort of social media and Twitter functionality in the organisations. People want what they've got externally, internally, and I'm not sure the organisations are necessarily catching up with their, um, with their needs. They want to learn that way, they want it quick, they want it um, in short sound bites, and, and they want it accessible wherever they are. How do I learn? Um, I learn in a number of different ways, using lots of different kind of sources and media. Um, I think for me, one of the most important things is to make sure that we get kind of inspiration from lots of different industries um, and that the sources we use are kind of multidiscipline. So basically, try and use as many different kind of references as possible and, and to bring those together. Every day I'm learning something new, every day I'm on Google, every day I'll just go and look something up. So it's a constant evolving process where I might look at something in spe uh, specifically, but equally I might just go and randomly look at something and it take me off on this fantastic journey to, to develop my knowledge further. I guess I learn every minute of the day, still every other way. Um, I'm not a big guy for spending lots of time on different courses and different programs. I think my learning fundamentally comes from sharing information and sharing, sharing knowledge. So things like you know, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. You know, I read a lot, I use the internet heavily. You know, um, I probably walk around with very, no very little knowledge in my head. Um, but I know where to find it when I need it and you know, how to use it. I think the biggest challenge facing L&D today is the sheer number of technologies that there are. So since 2010, over the last four years, the number of technologies uh, in terms of the respondents from the benchmark has increased by over 200%. And I think that's uh, what's really challenging is the fact that uh, less than half of organisations are actually equipping L&D with the continuous professional development that they need in order to be able to uh, respond to those changes in technologies. I can control what I learn, when I learn it, how I find it, what I do with it and how I share it. And that's increasingly common in the workplace now, and that's creating a big challenge, I think. So we need to respond to that sense of user control, rather than the organisation being in control of the learning program. I think we're getting into the habit of gaining instant answers all of the time, and as a result, um, learning is forgettable. We're losing muscle memory, or we could do, I think, if it continues. So I don't think we're becoming experts in the same way as we used to. Uh, we're not spending enough effort and energy on learning things because we can get it instantaneously. I think I used to learn in quite traditional ways, you know, classes, courses, but now I tend to learn by trying to find examples from people who know how to do what I want to do, or who are experts or who have experience and find ways of them showing me how they do it and then having a go myself. I'm probably the biggest geek ever when it comes to social media, online, etc, etc. I'm a big Twitter user. Um, and although it doesn't always feel like I'm learning from Twitter, obviously I am because I'm reading snippets of information every day. Uh, YouTube's become a massive place for me to learn. Uh, in fact, I learned to swim on YouTube, which sounds absolutely crazy, but uh, clearly I already knew how to swim. It was more the ability to practice at different strokes, etc., etc. Um, and I learned that from YouTube. I learned how to fix my bike on YouTube. Um, I learned from things like Pinterest, uh, Facebook, clearly. Um, so social media is a massive way for me to learn and that's something that really I'm looking to put into the business that I work in as well.